What's up Gunplum Modelers? This is Jim and today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the P Bandai exclusive RX80 PR Pale Rider ground heavy equipment type from the Mobile Suit Gundam side story Missing Link. It's a Earth Federation uh, space ESFS, I forget the Earth Federation Space Force uh, prototype mobile suit, as of course. I know I a little stumbled there, so what? Anyway, uh, I just got this today from GenteKits.com. It was shipped within like four days. It arrived within like four or five days, really. Shipped on the 4th, today's the 7th, so really, yeah, mass terrible. But uh, it actually was shipped Friday and arrived here in, on Monday, which is pretty quick from coming from Japan. So I'm pretty impressed. But we're not here for just talk about that. Let's show what the box is. As any other uh, P Bandai kits, they don't have much around the, the sides, except for this side, of course, which just shows like high grade, missing link, and all the info about it. Plus, it even shows you how much it was originally for 1800 yen, and it just tells you what it is. And there's the other side. And there's really nothing on the bottom, but. We're more interested in the contents. We're first graded with this bag, which has the gray, like a light gray parts, and a nice shade of blue, and the beam savers underneath there. Plus the decal sheet. That's pretty big. <laughs> And then we get to our second bag here, which has the gray parts for like the weaponry. Then you got dark blue parts for our chest. And I think these are black parts for the cannon and parts of the shield and whatnot. So this and you get polycaps in between there as well. Then you get this little tiny bag, which comes with two of the same color, or two of the same sprue. A D, they're both D, but you choose between green or red for whatever version you want to go with. And on the bottom, we got our manual. So we get a nice representation of the Pale Rider and the heavy equipment type. And as we open up, get a nice color splash here of how it looks with the cannon exposed or extended and doing a firing pose plus a dynamic pose here. And it shows some neat little things here like the thrusters on the back and some shots from the game, I believe. I have not played the game, but I might be interested in buying it someday. And here it is in exam mode, I think it is. Everything turns gold, and everything here is just gray. And of course, red visor. And on the color here, we start with, looks like the shield, the gun, which it's like three parts, and the missile launcher. Excuse me, missile launchers. Then the back cannon, or the the cannon that you whip out from the side. Looks very nice, actually. And then we get to our black and white pages. Which, surprisingly enough, I, there's not really that many plates for this kit, which I'm kind of surprised. You only get... Like eight or nine plates, which is pretty small. But there's a lot of detail to this, so I'm very curious on how this turns out. 
So pretty much you start off with building the chest and then you build the head and it tells you here you can choose between the green or red, doesn't matter along with sticker or the, uh, the visor here and then you build the arms once your arms are built you go build the or put the head and arms together then it looks like you build the feet and then legs legs are finishing up then you build the waist and combine the waist and legs build the side skirts, the unique side skirts which have the beam saber to them and you attach them to the waist you build the mid torso and you combine everything together and it shows you how to take the beam saber off as we let's see uh, on the back here a very nice color splash page of like got them size stories you get a nice uh, image of the model front and back and I think the uh, red mode is called Hades I'm not familiar with the game yet so I don't read Japanese I don't know what's going on but it looks pretty badass so I'm pretty excited to get this kit and this was a birthday present for me back in early February, late late January, early February. Let's just say that. So that's about it guys. I hope you liked this unboxing video. Uh, I haven't seen much of this up yet so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.